Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning to read um, data from a file, but obviously when you're reading data from a file, it's not always on a line-by-line -line basis. You might find that you've got commas separating your values, and in this case, we've got a few names here with commas separating each value. Now, how do we deal with reading this in? Now, we've already seen examples of reading in file data, but for now, what we want to do is we want to uh, create a handle, uh, as we've done previously. I've got this names.txt up here, but I'm just going to close it uh, so it doesn't interfere with our uh, program. Uh, I don't want to change anything inside. So handle equals f open, and we want to pick a file to open, which is names.txt. And we're going we're gonna to open this for reading, so we're going to use an R here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we need to um, uh, create um, a way to uh, read the contents of the file, echo the contents of the file, and that, that's the first stage I'm going to take, just echoing out the contents uh, to the PHP page. At the moment, the uh, it looks like this, nothing's really happening. So um, how do we do this? What we do is we, we echo f read and we uh, take the handle in there. Now the second argument in this is the amount of data we want to read in. For now I'm just going to type a thousand just to make sure we read in all the characters. However, um, well let's refresh first and you can see we've taken in all the data from the uh, names.txt file. From Alex to Sandra we've taken in all the data and we're displaying it. Now I don't want to read in a thousand uh, uh, bits or uh, I think it's bytes I'm not I'm not too great with that but this is the amount of data it's reading in uh, could be characters I'm not sure but something to look up um, so I want to take in the file size rather than keep specifying you know if, if I was reading in a massive long file I might say oh we'll just read in that amount of characters you're wasting um, you're wasting it, it doesn't look neat either so what I want to do is I want to use a function called file size um, and then handle. So basically all this is doing is taking the file size and reading in the file as a whole. Not any more, not any less. So let's see if that's worked. Oh, uh, Right, okay, so okay, basically what we've done is, um, as opposed to reading in um, the, the, you know, a particular file, we're reading in this open file. So what we need to do up here is we need to specify the file name. So I'm going to specify the file name as names.txt. That means that down here I can replace this with file name. And then I can replace this with file name as well. So now let's refresh and we should have that, that file up. Okay, so just to show you an example, if I wanted to only read in, say, um, five, uh, we'd just get the first uh, five characters of that. So um, always use this file size and it will just open the exact amount uh, of data within your file. Okay, so um, we don't want to echo this out, um, but what we do want to do is put it in um, a variable. So I'm going to call this variable data in. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to split it up, and our the character we want to split from is um, commas. So let's refresh again. Oh no! Echo that out and refresh. Now we want to split it up through commas, and we use a function here called explode. So um, I'm going to say names array equals explode what we do is we use a we we, we tell um, PHP the character we want to explode it with and then we uh, read in the uh, read in the um, what we want to explode so if for example in here we had Alex uh, Billy Dale okay and we wanted to um, explode that we'd just be left with an array with Alex Billy and Dale but because we've got this data in variable with uh, our data, oh, data in, I mean, um, that's uh, what we want to read in. We want to read in this, and we want Alex in, a, in an array um, element, Billy, Peter, Dale. So if we refresh, nothing's happened, no errors have, occur have occurred, which is fine. Now to test this, we can use the for each, 
and we can say for each names array as name and what we want to do is echo um, name and then we just append a break onto that so essentially what we're doing is we're converting this file from a comma comma delimited file to a line by line uh, echoing it out to our browser and displaying the data to our browser so if we refresh hopefully that should work okay so you can see that they're now on a line by line basis now there's one thing that you need to notice um, when dealing with these files is that they do actually have extra um, extra uh, spaces on I believe so let's just add a dot in there to test that oh no they don't okay that's absolutely fine that's worked well okay so um, we've now got this data that's been read in on a comma line file so we've used explode um, and we've read this in as an array so now what we can do is we can do anything we like with this data because it's in, value, it's in an element of an array for example let's just get rid of this if I wanted to say echo names array and say the um, uh, say um, the first element of the array so the array with the key of zero the key zero has the value Alex because it's the first name in the list so we're just redu uh, we're just reducing that down and, pr and uh, printing out Alex or echoing out Alex so you can do anything you like with this data now that it's in an array and we've done that simply by the explode function using a comma to say oh yeah it's separated by comma um, if it was separated by spaces you could just use a space in here um, uh, and then just reading in the data uh, just here. So that's how simple it is to read in sort of comma separated values within a file.